Salud. So, folks, Dave Mate here. Another installation of mine pedals. Here we go. Um, just want to talk about habits and how it relates to dream life. This is another talk for Team Lucid Dream. Check us out on Facebook. Just type in Team Lucid Dream and you'll find us. Join our community. It's all about lucidity, dreaming, uh, waking up within your life, not just only in your dreams, manifesting, and so on and so forth. Fill in your own new age words. <laughs> uh, I remember in June, Actually, the entire summer of 2010 was a very pivotal uh, season for me. I did an experiment that summer where I changed my routine. I changed my habit of meditation. And instead of just meditating once per day, I decided to step more into the ethereal, step more into the spirit world, and to see what sort of effects would uh, result if I sort of let go of my physical body, so to speak, and went more into the spiritual world. So what I did was instead of meditating once uh, a day, which I usually do for the past several years, I started to meditate several times a day. I started to consciously stop thinking about the physical body. I started to uh, just live a very sort of uh, airy smoky life in the sense of just letting go of the physical letting go of the physical and I wanted to see what would happen and I did receive some interesting results that summer some scary results I remember actually for the first time uh, consciously actually projecting uh, at first it was an accident I didn't know what was happening like I said in my previous videos and I just started floating out of my body during a zazen sitting meditation which led into the investigation of what this sensation was, what this whole feeling of floating outside of the body was, what this, uh, I went deeper into the chakra system and what was happening with my heart chakra when I was exiting the physical body, which usually accompanied uh, an effect of pounding, pounding my heart, just hearing drums going off, but it really wasn't my physical heart pounding, it was my heart chakra. Now it's about three years later and I'm beginning to understand what really happened during that experiment that summer. What happened was I simply changed my habits. Now during that summer when I changed my habits of not focusing solely on the physical, the physical, the physical, and focusing more on the ethereal, the metaphysical, meta means beyond, physical means earth, or physical objects, so beyond the earth, beyond the physical body. My dreams, uh, correspondingly, showed this immersion of the spiritual world. During those dreams of that summer of 2010, those dreams were profound. Uh, astral projection became common for me during that summer. It was very common for me. Astral projection, it was a uh, lucid dreaming, became deeper. Uh, I had more enriched, detailed conversations during my dreams. My dream recall was amplified. Many things happened on a spiritual level uh, and on a s super physical level, beyond the physical. I was able to do super conscious things. Now, I don't want to go into the exact powers that I was able to manifest during that summer because I just don't feel comfortable speaking about them. I just feel like those things aren't meant to be spoken about but only experienced and the more you speak about them you come off as an authority about them and I'm really no authority on any of these things. I don't believe that superpowers and supernatural things are things to be boasted about because really they mean nothing. They just happen as a result of spiritual inquiry. 
but for the sake of this video, let's just say that changing my habits, that single act alone, allowed me to delve deeper into the spiritual world, which resulted in more profound dreams. Now, why do you want to have more profound dreams? Why do your dreams want, why do you want your dreams to be more enriched, more detailed, more enlightening? Why? Because the dreams are the window to your mentality, the window to your mind. Uh, you know, a scientist may say it's the window to your neurology. Uh, so the implications of being able to recall your dreams and see what happens in your dreams and to enrich your dreams are multifaceted and profound. Um, everything was predicated that summer upon changing my habits. Now this summer, it's 2013 now, I've begun to study more about what habits are, what is a habit, how to modify your habits, how to modify the habits of other people even. And that sounds crazy, I know that sounds like you're controlling, but no it's not. If you're trying to help somebody do something in their life, helping them to modify their habits is actually a, could be a very powerful, positive, productive thing. Isn't that what psychologists and psychiatrists do? Uh, what doctors do, scientists do, we all do it. We do it to ourselves. So, habits work in loops. A habit loop has a cue, it has a routine, and it has a reward. Those are the fundamental building blocks to every single habit. Now, let's make an example. For instance, a cue. A cue would be uh, I want to see my friend Sarah. You know, that's the cue. I want to see her because she's just so amazing. So I'm thinking in my head about Sarah. Okay, I want to see her. That's the cue. You know, if the image of Sarah comes into my head. Now the routine is for me to go drive in my car and to see Sarah. That is the routine. And now the reward. So cue Routine, reward. The reward is I feel great. When I see Sarah, I feel great because she's so nice. She has so many insightful remarks. She's on my level in terms of being able to follow my train of thought. So I feel appreciated when I'm speaking to her. I feel like she can understand what I'm saying. I feel like there's a symbiosis, synergistic uh, relationship between the two of us. That's the basic principle of any single habit. You know, another example would be, okay, uh, you're sick, you know, you're sick. So when you're, you're feeling bad, you feel horrible, so you go to the, that's the cue. But now you want the routine. The routine is opening up the cabinet and taking out some Advil. That's the routine. The reward is feeling numb. You know, the reward is feeling better. That's the reward. So every habit has this loop, it has this circle. It's called the habit loop. Uh, now, if you understand that, you could learn how to modify your own habits, you could learn how to totally eradicate bad habits, and you could learn to, for good purposes, please, uh, modify the habits of other people. With this understanding, now you could juxtapose and apply that to your dream state. If you understand how habits work, now you can understand how to modify your physical, everyday life to enrich your dream life, which results in having a wider and deeper understanding of your mind, what's going on in your mind. As you begin to understand your dreams and recall your dreams and better interpret your dreams and to a large extent uh, control the dreams uh, via lucid dreaming, uh, actual projection, so on and so forth, you are able to better understand yourself. Understanding self is of utmost importance. If you understand self, you could understand everything. You understand the world, you understand the cosmos, and therein lies true power. Therein lies the ability to accept your position as having a body, being here on Earth, but also simultaneously and safely getting beyond this notion of having this body and being tied down by this body and being held back by this three-dimensional reality. Understanding this allows you to escape any limitations of the body and simultaneously any limitations of the mind. So 
I want to leave you with this. Understand how habits work. That's number one. Number two is modify your life, modify your habits in such a way that allow you to live a healthy life, live a productive life, to live a life of being aware of what's going on, that will translate into deeper understanding of your dreams, deeper control of your dreams, whether it's lucid dreaming, astral projection, what have you, and that will result in you being able to see your mind, you being able to better understand yourself, which is really what I'm saying. And therein lies true power. My name is Dave Mate. Thanks guys for listening. This is another installation with uh, Team Lucid Dream. I'll put the link below so you can check us out on Facebook. Thanks for listening. Salute and drink your Yerba Mate.